One thing I've been meaning to highlight is all these ancient trees with gnarly trunks. They're so sculptural and gorgeous in of themselves. And there's so many areas that like that. The desert garden, which I don't know, it's pretty hot over there um, today, but it just all the different plants are very sculptural and beautiful in themselves, even though they don't have flowers. But it's just really interesting. Maybe I'll take you to the pond. So we'll go by the ponds and then we'll go by the Japanese garden. How's that? I got to the ponds to video some more, but this, when I bought one similar, it was called Bower Vine, but I'm not sure. This is so sweetly perfumed and it is just filled with these beautiful bell-like flowers. It is just gorgeous. One thing I certainly am enjoying, and I may have highlighted this already, is the name tags on all the plants. Well, most of them. I couldn't figure out what that bower vine was previously, but I see some right next to me. Maybe it has a label there. Let's go see. Look at this. It looks like it's in a plumbago family. Plumbaganaceae. Oh, Cerastostigma graffithi. Can't pronounce it. From the Himalayas, but look at that. Beautiful blue in that flower. I'm gonna be still here for a second and show you there's all these pathways. I have a map and I do have to refer to it from time to time, but the beautiful thing is there's all this shade to enjoy while you're walking from one section to another. I don't know if I'll even make it into the house, which is supposed to be a beautiful art gallery in itself, as well as there's a, a library. And then there's a botanical building. So lots to see, but definitely won't see it all today. On to the ponds. Look at this, let's see if I can get it to focus in for you. Can you see inside that flower? It's got that purple little, I don't know, it's like a landing strip for bees. And bees do seem to love it. I'll need to find the name for the plants around here somewhere. Looks like it's more of a ground cover. Let's look up. He's going up this hillside here. And I don't see a name tag for it, but very interesting. I doubt it would grow in my area, but I think I would love to try some. Such interesting flowers on it. Aha, found the name tag. And that's what it is. Mexico, so I doubt it's hardy in my area, but you could try. Up here, so you can see this whole area was put in because they got a donation of a collection, the largest collection of that they knew of, of cycads. And you can see how interesting, look at that white, it's a cone in the middle of the plant. And you can see all the different ones. Very interesting plants. And I'm glad they were able to keep them and um, preserve them for everybody. Can you hear the water yet? We're heading in the path towards it. Look at that big old tree across the way. I have to stop, I'm too wiggly when I walk. But onto the ponds, they're beautiful. This lays me, the alocasias here grow everywhere and are beautiful. Of course, we grow them as house plants because we can't grow them outside. Well, in the summer we could put them outside, but just beautiful to see them in their natural habitat. And look at this tree. I don't know what this tree is. I'm sure I can identify it after a bit, but look at the roots it makes. All these little pockets where it catches water, little things start growing. Just rather fun to look at and enjoy. These little strappy, I almost look like spider plants, but they're not, I'm not sure what they are because it's not my forte, but I enjoy them anyways. And then on this side, more of the different alocasias. Just beautiful. Oh, look at that bamboo stand up there. Holy smokes, that must be timber bamboo. I love bamboo. Interesting this, just all this swath of bright color right here along pathway. I'm sure you can hear the water now. But look, there is 
some of the ponds. I'll go by the waterfall. Looks like I'm coming up on some ginger. Thought I heard somebody behind me. I'm trying not to block anybody. Interesting story about the ponds. They were put in uh, for raising turtles. And it was because the lady of the house loved turtle soup. <laughs> uh, oh, these are bromeliads. Uh, Chris, I don't see me saying it. What I wanted to show you. Okay. They're so pretty. You can hear the water for sure. I would love to be able to do something like this in my garden, but of course I don't have a temperate climate. Look at these elephant ears. Those are huge. The water comes down. And then over to the pond area. And this goes into another lower pond flows down. I walk down there. Another gorgeous tree, or is it trees, growing into a big mass. Isn't that pretty? I love that. I could just imagine kids climbing that. It would be quite a fun place to travel up. Okay, I don't know if you can read that sign, but it says it's an ombu tree from Argentina. Hmm. Beautiful. Can you see the little bunny? Let's see if I can zoom in. It's having a feast. There's another one, a baby one, just a little bit over. Hopefully the shadows are, <laughs> they're so cute. Destructive little monsters, but they're cute. Many little turtles that are still around. They're soft-shelled turtles, what they're called. Though I see the red ear. We used to have the red-eared turtles as pets to get the little ones. Um, but anyways, so the ponds continue on. Lots of lily pads. There's this section and it goes on down to this section down here where there's many more turtles and a lot of koi down there. Now I'm going to go show you the folly, which I have to go through some grassy areas, etc. So I'll just go over there and then show you the folly. So as you come through, you'll see the folly. Now that was built to be viewed from the house, but I think at the house it's obscured by the trees now. But interesting British element they've added here. We're coming to an area that's called the Australian Garden. We're not going to do that today. But I just thought you'd like to know there is a section that's dedicated to that region. And it's probably quite interesting. 